Well, I just got in the mail my new 3D printer. Um, I've cut the box open, but that's as far as I've got. Um, it's a Sully Doodle version 3. Now, what have we got? It's my spoiler padding. Power brick. What else have we got? Okay. Nothing else in there. <coughs> my spare tape. I ordered some extra tape and an extra captain sheet. Apparently this is a replacement AC adapter. So obviously some generic Chinese something. There's a lot of grease. Instructions, receipts, USB cable, a wee bit of blue filament, power cable, and of course the, the power cable that they've got is the US plug, and it's not a standard I can't remember what they're called, but the standard computer plug. This is the more the ones that's used in laptops. So they haven't used the 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 more generic style. So that's a bit dumb, really. Because I don't think I've got a spare one of them. I do have one that's plugged into my netbook, but that's just dumb. I mean, there's lots of them out there that use the standard style plug, the slightly larger one, which I can't remember what they're called. And bits of poly pot, which is the um, spool holder, which goes on like so. And the belt isn't attached. Three D printed parts. Yeah. Must be a trick to getting that belt on. Sorry. Okay, well I have the unit where it's going to live, at least for the time being. And I'm just peeling this off. And uh, there's already damage to the tape. Two spots of damage there. Now obviously do a test print. As you can see. This motor sitting on quite an angle. Which has been broken. Oh, for <coughs> sake. So we have a broken <coughs> motor mount. So the reason the belt wasn't attached is because this motor mount is broken. As you can see there, 
and you can see that motor isn't, if it'll focus, isn't sitting straight. It's broken. I've been waiting like a month and a half for this thing and it arrives broken. Not happy. Okay, so here's the plan. I have emailed them. But in the meantime, I'm going to try to remove this carriage. And then uh, hopefully it's made out of ABS, the printed part. So I should be able to glue it up with some acetone. Okay, so I'm going to make up my glue in my little jar, which is going to be acetone. Because we're, I'm in Australia, and uh, these guys are in the US of A. Let's try just doing this. I'm not really expecting a super fast reply because they're probably currently in bed. But if I can get this in the meantime and basically the problem is the print doesn't have enough reinforcing in that section it's my first 3d printer and I even I can see that it's just a massive sheet lots of right angles and everything in there for it to have tension across the print lines and so of course it's just sheared off there It's not a super good quality print anyway, I can see there's a lot of slop in the bridging and I didn't really want to have to use filament to do this, so I was planning on making it paste up to glue etc, but I wanted to make it out of waste. So you can see it's starting to dissolve the starting to dissolve the uh, ABS already. So hopefully we'll get a bit of a paste out of that. Let's remove the motor. I probably could have done it. Now I need to get that bar out to remove the motor. Let's 
So there's the offending piece. We'll focus on it. I haven't used much infill by the look of it. So there's the broken section, both there and there. And then this piece is supposed to be attached just up in there. So as you can see that's completely broken off there. And it's just not enough reinforcing. It's just not thick enough. So I will attempt to glue that right now. So I'm just putting a little bit of get this in shot. A little bit of the ABS and acetone. I'm just trying to screw all these screws in, which will hopefully hold it in position. Okay, I think you can change it because it must have been broken early on. It looks like it's warped the plastic every time I tighten the screws, it pulls it back out of alignment. So, just keep with the Sully Doodle theme. I'm going to put a pipe clamp over the carriage and around the motor at the front where all the tension is and that should this on the right way should help keep everything where it's supposed to be. So I can get to doing some printing. So the first print. in it but first print quite happy